Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and I'm back with my part two of If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device, episode 26, part two, Fear and Loathing in Camera. I did break the video up into two parts just because the video is so long. Uh, it's about 46, 47 minutes long, so I thought it'd just be easier to break it up into two parts. All right, so I am right where I left off at the end of part one, so... um. Yeah, let's just get back into it. Here we go. You see, my uninformed companion, the Dark City is not simply the capital world of the Dark Eldar. Rather, it is a location where in almost every single Dark Eldar bar and comparative small exiled populations live and operate. As such, even though the Dark Eldar are likely one of the most numerically inferior races in the galaxy, Banding together in such a manner makes Kamora more or less an unbreakable fortress that no one can really It's kind of a shame with. Dark Eldar in haven't gotten any, the only like, model upgrades in a while. Have either been, one, extremely short with a single, limited golden mine. Two, hilariously karmic demon intrusions that generally exist to ruin one guy in particular. Or three, assaults that are unknown to the invaders themselves. I like the paper cut out. And visibly coordinated by the Dark Eldar in order to murder potential political and military opponents without actually getting their shitty little <laughs> plaza. <laughs> the Dark Eldar have seen to it that even if our primary goal was to eliminate their rays, mustering the resources necessary to level Kamora would leave the Empyrean critically open to its numerous other aggressors. Even in the best case scenario, it would certainly be more trouble and it is worth. Then, their escape from the materials was not. The Wolf King's return is not a return at all! I do not like this situation. Do not worry your tiny little skulls. Komora may be unbreakable playing by our rules. But fortunately for us, things are going just as planned. You not, mate. I have come to a decision. Oh boy. It will be painful. We will extremely terribly <laughs> horribly painful follow them. Not sure that's a good idea. Oh what right, you good for nothing, Dungus. Listen up! You heard that man! Not so I am unconditionally agreeing to this, but I am temporarily not murdering the Eldar. We will protect them there later for safe passage, and if he refuses, or otherwise screws us over, we will summarily show them the might of Imperial Steam. Yay. So, like, <laughs> am I actually going to have to be the straight man here and pointing out how bad this idea is? Mm hmm It feels... Really bad? Oh... <laughs> Oh, it's a Feels gross. Idea. Both our options are terrible ideas. But I'd relax just the tiny itty little bitty itty bitty tiny little itty bitty itty bitty bitty. There's a reasonable precedent for this sort of thing. There is. There is. There is. Well, rumor has it that the cult mechanicus sometimes hires Dark Eldar to help repair the Golden Throne. Ah, oh, that should be good. Oh, okay, that's fine. I am rather confused. <laughs> Why would Lehman Russ and the Inquisition agree to this without violent interjections? Good question. As I said, things are going exactly as planned. <laughs> According to plan. Care to tell us what this plan is? You are watching not the plan yet. unfold. I do not see a plan. You will. I only see terrible decisions being made. Exactly. This plan is entirely based on terrible decisions being made. Emperor knows. I am confused. <laughs> Welcome to the club. I am the head. You see, my boy, a certain group of Eldar are having a bit of a birthday party plan. A divine birth ousted from copious amounts of dead souls, ironically. Seeing as I am a connoisseur of all things soul slattered and skull covered. I figured I would have someone representing yours truly go snatch up the title of Emissary for this up and coming birthday god. It is only my right. Ho 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 ho
the Dark Eldar. The, the Dark Eldar. Will not you in the ass immediately. I am actually pretty sure it will in some capacity. But luckily for me, if you try any of your hallmarks of Carly Cop Trivel, our close personal friend Calder Drago just ain't a son. If we ask him nicely, he could spit it right back out for us. I think we should help the poor boy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow is very right. Speak. Was this Harlequins? They kind of cool. They got some more models too. What is it, Ariel? I trust there is a very good reason for you interrupting me during my uh, private hours. My lady, I would never seek to interrupt your you time unless it was most urgent. No, you would not. Otherwise you would wind up back on that shopping block faster than you can name off our super and ridiculous support options. Um, the Tangelus? No, no, what else, sir? The days of destruction doesn't really count. Daryl? My news. Yes, of course. Though I warn you, it is dire, my lady. According to our spies, Cain's mm -hmm. gate has at last been breached. What? <coughs> what? That bloodshed effect actually did it? I mean, uh, I kind of thought you would, but small part of me expected him to know better, you know? Drowning his competition in the moon by letting Orcs burn out since the moon was He's kind of a bad Report that your ex's forces are coming. Prefer to vex as my ex again, and I will send you to the flesh laboratoire. Excuse me, my lady. Your ex is here. Either way, Vex forces are wholly absent from the gate, and the gate is closed off by some no doubt temporary means. But what's most surprising is there is no demonic activity to speak of. What came out, uh. Monkai. Monkai? <laughs> Monkai, my lady. Monkai surfing chaos, I assume. No, just mm. Monkai, my lady. There's a big gyrant man, one with a big dumb chair. <laughs> oh, and Caldor Draco. <laughs> Caldor Draco? Caldor Draco. Caldor Draco? Caldor Draco, my lady. But. Uh, but and the one in the big dumb chair. It is positively ludicrous, my lady. My reports tell me Vector's already apprehended these Monkai. One amongst their number is being brought to the stupid floating pyramid that is his headquarters. The rest are being sent to the Crucibale Arena. I am admittedly excited about them being set to fight in a match against the coming emissary. Now, as for our solution, if I may be so bold, I suggest... You may not. Th Leave me, Taril. If I wanted the advice of parasites, I'd have sent for the Medusa. <sighs> Once the end Off with you. my writer and organizes the cabal, I need some uh, me time. At once, my most frightening and highly replaceable lady. <laughs> and highly replaceable lady. <laughs> so tell me, are going to investigate yourself, mon ami? <laughs> I have made special preparations for each possible variation of this event. Demonic incursion, enslaver swarm, even the possibility of a tyrannical invasion kind of across the mind. That'd be kind of an interesting model. I like the two-face and stuff like that. Mon gag is through the gate. 
I mean, that's, that's arguably more manageable so long Let's see if we go back to the mirror because the other side looks all like gnarly and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. I suppose I should eat the cup on myself tonight. The fact is clearly planning something, and I am not one to let this See, Dark Eldar needs some new models. We'll see what Kate's models. gate has unloaded into Komoraga with our very own eyes on Zen. What is Pakistan fiddling with this precious monkey? I will shop up his platters like a slice of bread and construct an intricate search system out of his still screaming remains. And then, and then, and then, I shall become the true supreme lady of Komarag. <laughs> Bazinga. It is done. Seems like you've spun her plates real nicely, Tariel. <sighs> Enlighten me, Jackal God. Oh, come on, Tariel! Don't be so formal. You can call me the Deceiver, like all my pals. <laughs> like all my all right. friends. Why do you need her aid? What do you want with these humans? Ah, sure is quite Here's a pretty cool a uh, model. Nowadays, isn't Nobody it? really took him, though. Everybody wanted the Nightbringer. <laughs> No. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just pulling your pantyhose, babe. State of affairs is actually what amounts to a, a collection of rocks desperately clawing their inanimate ears out as the organic shriek machines are pulling them all straight down the end times pit. What? Shit is flying left, right, up, down. No one knows what the fuck is happening. But on and on and on they keep wailing their song of mutual destruction, heretic. Savage! Upstart! Lapdog! Let me eat your spine! <laughs> ah! Ah. Shut the fuck up, Tariel! You're part of the problem! S so... Well, I didn't wow, say I'm that. sorry, I don't know why, but I was expecting something more comprehensible. What are you saying? I am not saying anything! I am screaming! Holy shit, volume, please. In the midst of this galactical shit cacophony it's just turn that it down these a bit. spoiled, entitled planet spots have rung out, I am the only one screaming out against the fate this galaxy is encroaching upon. Listen, mime lady over there, ah, she's a treasure. And by treasure, I mean a giant resource of guns. A giant fountain of guns. Guns with the kind of firepower she could take out a supreme grandmaster of the Grey Knights in 20 seconds flat. Theoretically, at That's least, impressive. although I'm not entirely well versed in dark matter weaponry somehow. That is a very specific example. <laughs> yes, spot on, Tariel. Attentive and to the point as always. See, this is why I brought you and your little campaign into reality. You know, other than to attain a way to this edge fest of a harbor town. Y you know, you're saying a lot without saying much. Uh, so you're planning on killing Cal? He cannot be allowed entrance to the Materium again! No way! It cannot happen! It would spell disaster for my galaxy, Tariel! His screams will overpower all! Do you hear me, Tariel? Listen here, you night-eared little shit! Caldor Draco must be stopped! Okay, so they're gonna try to stop him. Interesting. I'm sure it will go over well. And now... After six years of anticipation, the fate of the Alpha Legion Part Three. <laughs> Alpha Legion. Attention, all 
how lit it is. I read the Literally film. a children's cassette. <laughs> microphone. First time you really take our place seriously. That we one of the many things you can regret heretics. The real Diomedes are currently surrounded by all our forces. I won't hold back our assaults any longer. Oh my god, Donald War footage. Oh my god, that's fantastic. When your chapter is decapitated by this lust, eradicating the rest of you will be a simple task. Donald so good. You didn't expect so us. damn good. No more steel raid. No more pain tapes. No more orange juice in the morning. Nothing. If our assault is successful, this world will be liberated from childish antics, from memes, from jokes, and no one will ever have to roleplay a fucking tyrannid with a sniper rifle ever again. We will be free, and my children will go to college, and they're going to be the purest. No one will play more ever like a dumb guy ever again. God damn it, Nexus. Here we go! You can literally, you can like literally see him just with his mouth wrapped to the microphone talking. <laughs> Quiet. I don't really feel up to this whole leading thing anymore. I, I'm kind of busy dying instead, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave this whole uh, legion up to you guys. Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Your just very soul and put it into this box. If anyone else wants to die by my hand, just say the word. Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> well, count me in, go. Jeez, it took you this long to do this? <laughs> eh, sure. Kill me, daddy! Perfect! <laughs> Kill me, daddy. <laughs> Are we done yet? <sighs> this armor is really tight. Companion, we are done. Back to the ship. Mission accomplished. All oh, except so, for that one. That was the thing that Why did it happen? These souls shall spend their time working for us now. Using them, oh, we shall improve kitten. the state of the galaxy at large. That doesn't really explain anything. Are we going back to Terra? Yes, we're going back to Terra now. Yay. Very good, then. But what should we do with those two? Space Galaxy! I don't know, they're your jurisdiction now. I'm going to check on the Engineerium. 
You deal with them. So... What's up? You love when play Call of Duty? Yes. I will do it! <laughs> I'm gonna play Call of Duty. So yeah, it's just all credits left. Okay, so yeah, there we go. There is um, my part two of episode 26's part two, which was, um, you know, really good. I'm looking definitely looking forward to um, the next episode to see what happens to, you know, everybody else. And, you know, they're going to supposedly the arena and how they also want to kill Caldor Drago. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I kind of can't wait for the arena and continue seeing what the Emperor's plan is. Because, you know, everything is going according to his plan. So, yeah, I definitely can't wait to see how it plays out. So it should be uh, very interesting. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I know my videos uh, have been pretty scarce lately, you know. It is kind of getting closer and closer to the holidays, so I'm working a little bit more now. So getting videos out is becoming, you know, a little bit harder and harder to do. Um, but I still try to do as many as I can when I can. But yeah, so I'll continue to, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to continue going with the series and stuff like that. I just hope to uh, be able to put out more videos, you know, more often because I know... I think it was like about two weeks when I did part one and stuff like that, so it was a little scarce. So I hopefully I can, uh, you know, do these a little bit more frequently. Uh, but yeah, anyways, there we go. There's my part two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And, of course, if there's any other videos you guys want me to check out, any lore videos and stuff like that, leave a link in the comments. And, um, yeah, I'll be happy to do a video on because I do obviously want to hear more about the lore and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, um, you know, other than that, just stick around. More videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.